I am Lieutenant Jeff Halleck, Public Information Officer for the Orange County Sheriff's Department, and you are watching OC's Most Wanted. Welcome back to Orange County's Most Wanted. I'm Kevin McDonald, and tonight again with us is Lieutenant Jeff Halleck. He is the Public Information Officer for the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Tonight we're going to talk about two cases. One case is a Henry Godinez, and the other case is going to involve Robert Corella. And I'm going to let Lieutenant Halleck give us an idea of what's going on here. So let's start with this gentleman right here. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Corella, he's accused, this is a 2013 case, he's okay. accused of sexual assaults. It was an ongoing sexual relationship with a minor child that was related to the suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a case, again, it was in 2013, he was arrested uh, as a result. He bailed out, and while he was out on bail, he went through the trial and was ultimately convicted of the charges. At some point following the trial, they had a penalty phase where he was supposed to show up for sentencing, and he never did show up. And so, so he had a trial in absentia. He was found guilty. Then they convicted him, at, or, or then sentenced him, and now he's in the wind somewhere. Well, they hadn't sentenced. He was oh, hadn't. supposed to show up and sentence him because he didn't show up. Then they were unable to sentence also, him. Also, they hold back on the. Sen I didn't know that. So the, basically, they hold back on sentencing until he returns or until they find him. That is correct. Oh, that's interesting. That's that good correct. to interest. So let's take a look at uh, Mr. Corella's picture, and we'll post him here later also a little bit more clearly. But this gentleman is wanted uh, for a conviction now, uh, lewd acts on a child. So take a close look, folks, if you will, and we really do want to see this person brought to justice. So Lieutenant, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, the next is Henry Nunez Godinez. He's mm -hmm. wanted for uh, a homicide out of the city of Laguna Hills again in 2013. This was December of 2013. It's uh, We found the homicide victim at his apartment in okay. the city of Laguna Hills. And we believe that Mr. Godinez initially was a person of interest, but investigators, you know, following uh, the crime and some follow-up believe that uh, he's responsible for the homicide. And uh, the belief is that he fled south through Mexico, possibly to his uh, native country of Nicaragua. So um, in this case, they've, they've found an associated person that was deceased, and he's been, has he been charged with this in abstentia? How does that work? Uh, at this point, he has not been charged. Okay. Uh, again, it's... He's wanted for the crime. That's and they correct. And, and he, obviously, if we, we see him, um, he's, you know, we say 836, well, but we can't arrest him based on the, the information that we have. But uh, there's not a warrant in the system at this time. However, he is, you know, we'll call him a person of interest or a suspect in this homicide. Okay, so give me a little bit of background. Do you have background on the, on the crime itself? Is there any type of uh, details that you can give that might help pe motivate people to, to take a look? Or you know, I can't get into this. Bit. Unfortunately, I can't get into the specifics That's of it fine. because it's an ongoing investigation. That's I fine. can tell you that the suspect, Mr. Godinez, was very close to the victim. It was a prior roommate. Mr. Godinez at the time worked at a nearby restaurant. Mm -hmm. So he is a, a local person to South Orange County. However, we believe since the time of the crime, he has had fled he south has fled. via Mexico to Nicaragua. So let's take a look again. Um, this picture is not great, but we'll get to the close-ups for you. This is a, a, the poster for Mr. Godinez. Let's keep in mind this is an alleged um, individually that's, or excuse me, an individual that's wanted for a homicide, and he's a person of interest. Is that how you would classify him? That's still? correct. Person of interest. Take a really close look, folks, and see if we can find him. Um, now, I want to back, go back to this case here, if you can, since he's already been convicted. Can you give me, I mean, I don't want details because we're not trying to, to right. bother people, but give us a little more background on this case. Um, it's a sexual assault on a family member, you said? That's correct. It was a family member. It was a 12-year-old female, and it was a sexual relationship that occurred over a period of time, prob about, about a year is what investigators believe. And so, again, he was arrested for that. Uh, he went to jail, he bailed out, and again, he, he showed up to court during um, the trial phase, but mm -hmm. as soon as he was found, he was convicted, uh, there was a court date for sentencing, and he didn't show up. And investigators believe, just based on uh, information from the family and the investigation, he has had residences in the South Orange County area as well as Las Vegas and San Diego. So, so they the, believe he's in the general area. So let me ask you then a little bit about how did, because uh, for me it's always how did the case get started? How did we find out about it? What did the did the victim report? Did somebody catch them? I mean, what was the case? Do you know the case uh, behind it? I don't have all of the details. I know that somebody in the family came forward based on 
information that the victim provided. Got and it, then from it. there, our special victims unit took the case and ended up in the conviction of Mr. Corella. Perfect. So in both cases, are we con or do the folks need to contact the Orange County Sheriff's Department? Absolutely. If they know the whereabouts of either one of these individuals, we'd ask them to, to call the Sheriff's Department at 714-647-7000. Uh, if it's an emergency, obviously we ask that people call 911. But if you know, you're just trying to provide information or you may have seen him or have something that uh, you know of that has occurred over the last year or so, you know, they can always call that non-emergency number. And then there's also, of course, the Orange County Crime Stoppers for those that want to do an anonymous tip. Absolutely. Well. And that, that gets routed through the Orange County Sheriff's Department anyway. So that's one way if you're afraid to make the report, notifying Orange County Crime Stoppers will assure you that the Orange County Sheriff's Department will find out about it. Absolutely. Anything else we need to know about this tonight? I think that's it. I mean, obviously the pictures are out there and yep. um, any information, even if you think it's something that would be not very significant, every little piece matters. And, you know, that's what the detectives do is they put that information together and the goal is to take both of these individuals into custody. Now, are both of these county um, county cases, meaning are they in the unincorporated areas under the jurisdiction of the Sheriff's Department? That is correct. So, yeah, in all the cases that the Sheriff's Department investigates, specifically our Special Victims Unit, would be crimes that occur in Orange County Sheriff's Department jurisdiction. So for those of you that don't know how that works, the reason I brought this up is the Sheriff's Department has a very broad responsibility in many different cities that either a contract with the Orange County Sheriff's Department or are not cities, they're unincorporated zones. So that's why I wanted to make sure that, that, that this is clearly under the jurisdiction of the Sheriff's Department. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Lieutenant, so much for Absolutely. coming Thanks in. For we appreciate me. it. So you're watching Orange County Most Wanted. I'm Kevin McDonald. With us is Lieutenant Jeff Halleck. He is the PIO, or Public Information Officer, for the Orange County Sheriff's Department. And he was kind enough tonight to come down and tell us about Robert Corella, who's wanted for a sexual assault, and Henry Godinez, who's wanted for homicide. We hope that you'll help us out. Take a close look, and thanks for watching.